Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Honcho, back at you again with another video. And so there's always this conversation that goes around within the UK rap scene about bridging the gap finally between America and the UK in terms of rap music. Now, you guys know my stance on rocking with the UK fully and not really caring about the American market as such. And the main reason that I say this is because if we want to build our own scene, we've got to support and back our own artists to the fullest. Again, that isn't me not fucking with anyone American, and in fact, I do listen to a lot of American rap and drill music, but at the end of the day, I just personally don't feel like we need the validation from America to progress in what we're doing, and I honestly think if we continue the way that we are, we definitely have a rap market that will rival with America. That being said though, and if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, then you'll know that I try and support UK rap artists as much as I can, and I still support their moves in their career, even if I personally don't like it myself. An example would be Diggity, some of his recent songs that have come out, I'm not a huge fan of, and that would be because it's more directed towards a TikTok slash commercial fan base rather than a hardcore drill fan base. But one thing that comes with supporting an artist as well would be if they personally want to try and move to cater to a fan base over in America, then I'm all for that because at the end of the day, they're still going to have a huge fan base over here and they just want to make their profile bigger. Of course, so far we've had the likes of Dave, Stormzy, Skepta and gigs go on to make huge moves in America and also with the likes of Heady One as well going on to feature with Drake again Drake's main fan base is in America so I would put Heady One in that bracket as well but even though these guys have done what they've done in my opinion I still don't think that they've quite bridged the gap as of yet but I do think that they've played key roles into building that bridge now one person I've always said that would bridge the gap between the states and the UK is Abra purely based on the fact that pop smoke sounded so similar to Abra. Of course, Abra was doing this thing for way longer than pop smoke, but normally Americans, from what I know, they like to stick to what they know. So when you've got someone like Abra who sounds like someone they know, then the gap can start to get built. Now, the reason I've gone on to say all this is because recently New York drill rapper Fabio Foreign had an interview and would go on to say this about M24. At first, I didn't really know M24 was, but like I start re I start looking into the music and all that. Sun 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 is fire. Like Sun got some shit. Like Sun got some shit. Like I fuck with Sun. Like I fuck with the shit. Like he got some shit going. Like, know what I mean, and we got a song together too. You know what I mean? So I fuck with M24. Like I fuck with that nigga. Like, I like the swag. I like anything. Sun got it. I ain't for he got it. Yeah. He like he could come out here and go viral if he want to. Like, you know what I mean? That's dope. That's dope. I fuck with what you doing, shit. So the main thing that stops UK rappers from going to America to do their thing would be the simple fact that a lot of them have serious charges on their criminal records. And let's be real, they wouldn't be able to get into America. Similar for American rappers with the UK, Lil Durk comes to mind when you say that. Now, I'm unsure if M24 has a criminal record, but if he hasn't, he should definitely seize the opportunity to go out there. But the reason I think he does is because him and Fabio Foreign already have a song together and they wasn't in the same shots for the video now this could have been for anything maybe it was because of coronavirus or something like that i don't know but again if m24 can go to america i definitely think he should seize the opportunity because think about it this guy has built a huge fan base his songs are consistently hitting millions of views and from what i know a lot of americans do fuck with them so why not take that extra step to try and take the american market if fabio is saying that he can do it then i'm pretty sure he can and let's just say it doesn't really work out for him then at the end of the day he's still got a huge fan base anyway so it's only going to benefit him as long as he keeps producing hits but on the topic of uk rappers trying to take on the us market it seems as if a few rappers have made it into the draft for the top 10 spot for the double xl freshman list now if you guys don't know double xl is an american magazine and every year they publish their freshman list and to basically 
sum up what it is, they look for up and coming rappers they think are going to make huge waves in the following years. A lot of the times before they get on the list, they've made quite a big noise anyway, in my opinion. Previously, there's been the likes of Steph London and people like that UK wise, but of course, the majority are American rappers. But if we take a look at previous covers, some superstars that are around now have been on there previously. Well, for the 10th spot on the list, that's chosen by fans, and it seems as if a few UK rappers are on there, but realistically, I can only see H and Parsalu be in for the running for it. Congrats to everyone who was in the running for it, especially the other UK artists as well. But even with H and Parsalu on the list, let's be real, with Pooh Shiesty in there, I personally just think that Pooh is going to win. Because he's been making huge noises recently, and seeing as there's a fuck ton of people rocking with him right now, I really wouldn't be surprised if he takes the 10th spot. Again though, a big shout out to everyone who has made the list, and of course I am rooting for all the UK rappers, but I just think that Pooh Shiesty will take the dub for that 10th spot but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell spinny boy 8 pancho and i'm out